Gun control on college campuses has become one of the most controversial topics as there has been a rapid increase in mass shootings across the nation. This problem has been going on for quite some time and the laws concerning gun control have been around since the formation of the Constitution. The root of this problem starts with the Second Amendment of the right to bear arms. It was created to protect people from standing armies during the wars that the U.S. was involved in. It was very vague and they didn't think of any other uses. They question if this law applies to being able to carry a firearm at universities and colleges. The first federal gun control laws didn't happen until 1934. This law, this law puts a tax on the manufacture and sale of machine guns of $200. In 1938, Roosevelt won approval of the National Firearms Act which requires the licensing of gun dealers. These gun dealers must record their sales. The gun control laws were first created in the South. Over the past 80 years, the Congress has written a series of controversial gun control laws. Almost all of the gun laws were created because of crimes involving guns. After the assassinations of some of the presidents, people started to become very worried about gun use in the U.S. It was very complicated and deals with the right to control a gun and legally obtain one. The Constitution advanced the law of citizens to bear arms because of the new standing army. Anti-Federalists were worried about their rights and Federalists were in support of the Constitution. The laws were discussing problems during the Revolutionary War and other wars, not dealing with shooters and technology. Acts now could possibly be from terrorists. The U.S. didn't have this problem when the laws were passed. They don't know if they should go against the amendments and create new laws or to just keep it the way it is. Only federal government got to decide these laws. Now states are making their own laws. The debate over gun control has been affected by many laws, short-term problems, and long-term situations. The short-term effects of gun control may seem small, but have had a very strong effect on the gun control laws. Guns on campuses in the past have led to an escalation of violent crimes on campuses. Secondly, with a stress-filled college environment, guns arguably cause depression and increase suicide rates. Also, there have been several mass shootings at schools with an ending of the shooter killing him or herself. Because of this, many people want restrictions on the rights to own guns like background checks and or permits. As technology started to advance, new weaponry came out, making mass shootings possible. Some people with guns use them in violent ways, increasing the amount of gun violence in the past five years. The long-term effects of gun control start off with the Second Amendment and its conditions. The amendment does not prohibit the regulation of firearms or similar weapons. Articles of Confederation and the Constitution have already set vague laws regarding gun control on college campuses. But now that shootings have become more apparent on campuses, the government thinks that they need to introduce stricter and more specific laws to help protect the people on college campuses. Another long-term effect were the gun control movements that have had everlasting impacts on the government, society, and the nation as a whole. There have been previous attempts at solving the issue. Ronald Reagan was arguably the most supportive president of the pro-gun law. During his terms, there were several attempted assassinations that brought the debate of possession of a firearm to many people's attention. People wanted to restrict gun laws so things like mass shootings wouldn't be able to happen. The Brady Bill, made by Bill Clinton, limited handguns in the U.S. Also, people who wanted a gun had to go through background checks that made it really hard to buy a gun. Assault weapons ban of 1994 and the Law Enforcement Act of 1994 were arguably the most influential on society to try to limit mass shootings since they were becoming more apparent. When all of these laws came out, people felt that they were violating their Second Amendment rights. These short and long-term effects have been the main focus on gun control as the previous solutions haven't really figured out a way to solve this problem. 
The main issue in this controversial problem is deciding whether to have people to be allowed to carry a gun on college campuses or not. There have been multiple problems with shooters at colleges and universities involving state laws that prohibit anyone on school campus to be allowed to carry a gun. Unfortunately, campus shootings have been occurring for quite some time, but the most prominent occurrence was the Virginia Tech shooting in 2007. 32 students were killed by one gunman, making this the second deadliest shooting incident by a single gunman in the U.S. history and one of the most deadliest by a single gunman worldwide. This made the argument of gun control a top priority as there were many lives taken by guns controlled by a mentally ill person. Guns are very powerful weapons that can easily harm or kill someone. This makes it hard to decide to grant students and professors the right to carry a gun as protection. Several states are creating their own version of laws dealing with guns and also deciding whether to go against the Constitution and make laws against the Second Amendment. The whole nation is involved because there are colleges everywhere and a school shooter can affect the whole community surrounding the college. College students come from all over the nation, in fact all over the world. So if a disaster happens at that university, the depression and the harsh effects travel to these kids' hometowns. The students, professors, and staff have their safety at the line since they reside there for most of the year. There are many different views on this controversial subject. Some believe that guns can protect not only from mass shooters, but also from sexual offenders and other violence college kids face. The problem isn't only on school campuses. People think it can also have benefits on other aspects of life. Others say it will just cause more violence which will lead people to become scared to go to college. They are also worried that it will open kids to a whole new world that is really dangerous and kids will not be able to understand what this world is as their brains are not fully matured. With recent violent attacks sparking tragedy and sadness, massacres caused by guns have raised the controversial issue of gun control in the United States. Since many people have such contrasting views of what should be done in regards to gun restrictions, to create a collective law for all states is nearly impossible. That is why so many states vote and have their own separate laws passed. However, these laws haven't done much in bringing an end to gun violence. More people die from gunshots in the United States than any other country in the world, and we also have more gun-related crimes than any other country. In 2009, statistics show that 6,009 people were murdered with handguns in America, which is 67.5% of all murders in the United States that year. In 2013, there were a total of 33,636 firearm deaths, including suicides. And most recently, in 2015, a total of 12,942 people had been killed in the United States due to a gun homicide, unintentional shooting, murder, or suicide. And at a rate of more than twice a day, someone under the age of 18 will be shot and killed. Unfortunately, mass shootings have taken place in nearly 100 metro areas over the past year. Many of these attacks occur on school or college campuses, which sparks fear and worry in students and parents all over the country. Parents shouldn't have to fear for their children's lives while sending them off to school, and college students shouldn't feel endangered while walking their campus. But with so many attacks on school grounds, the United States has lost hundreds of students' lives due to gun violence. And although laws are still being passed in America, gun violence continues to show a prominent problem in our country. Gun control laws need to be much stricter in America due to such obvious reasons. How many innocent people have to die before the access to such deadly weapons becomes harder? Why are people given access to guns so easily? At least 8% of gun owners owns a stockpile of at least 10 or more weapons, yet Congress is still hesitant to get involved with this problem. Tragedies as recent as this month will hopefully bring this issue up to consideration because the current laws clearly aren't saving many lives. Gun control should not be seen as a threat to our freedom, but rather a way to save thousands of lives in America and our nation needs to come together to stop such unacceptable crimes.